Exaggeration to absurdity, making English funny. Hello there, language learners. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we're going to dive into the hilarious world of absurdity in English humor, specifically focusing on the use of exaggeration. So, buckle up, because we're about to take a journey into the bizarre and funny side of English language learning. When we say something is absurd, we mean it is wildly unreasonable, illogical, or inappropriate. In humor, especially in jokes, absurdity is often used to create situations or reactions that are laughably unrealistic or extreme. It's all about taking ordinary situations and inflating them to the point of being ridiculous. Absurdity in humor often comes from exaggeration, which we've discussed before. But what sets it apart is the level of exaggeration. It's not just big, it's enormous. It's not just silly, it's downright ludicrous. Now, let's explore some jokes that employ absurdity through exaggeration. 1. I told my wife she should embrace her mistakes, she gave me a hug. 2. I have the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban from the zoo. In the first joke, the phrase, embrace your mistakes, is meant to suggest accepting and learning from your errors. But the joke turns this into the absurd idea that the speaker is a mistake, something to hug or embrace. In the second joke, having the heart of a lion, is an idiom meaning to be brave. However, the joke uses absurdity to interpret this idiom literally, implying that the speaker has physically taken a lion's heart, hence the lifetime ban from the zoo. Both jokes involve extreme and illogical scenarios, making them prime examples of absurdity through exaggeration. Now that we understand what absurdity is and how it works in jokes, let's discuss how you can use this technique in your own humor. The key to absurdity is taking a simple idea to an extreme level. Start with a common phrase or situation, then add a twist that exaggerates it to ridiculous proportions. Remember, the funnier and more surprising the twist, the better. For instance, consider the idiom, it's raining cats and dogs. An absurd twist could be, it's raining cats and dogs out there. Just stepped on a poodle, here, we took a familiar idiom and exaggerated it to an absurd degree, suggesting the speaker literally stepped on a poodle that fell from the sky. And there you have it. Absurdity in humor, especially when used with exaggeration, can create some truly hilarious moments. It's a wonderful way to play with language, and it can really make your English sound more natural and fun. Remember, Understanding humor and jokes in a language is a big step towards fluency. So, keep practicing, keep laughing, and don't be afraid to be a bit absurd. In our next video, we'll continue exploring more elements of jokes and humor in English. Until then, happy language learning, and remember to always embrace the absurd.